Back at it again with the engineering question. This time we moved away from statistics, surprisingly, and we're moving on to more ethical issues. Are you an engineer? Are you professional? Can you actually do this? Well, according to the model rules, uh, section 240.15 to be exact, uh, rules of the professional conduct, to, to even be more exact than the previous two phrases, a licensed professional engineer is obligated to, well, I'd be asking, I'm taking an FE exam. I don't know anything about professional engineering. I'm still going to be in training. Well, guess what? You're going to need to know something about being a professional engineer. And uh, and to be honest, I was learning this as I was doing this question. So don't be ashamed if you don't know what the hell you're, uh, you're looking at. So basically, when it comes to these ethical questions, if it sounds like you're trying to gain an advantage or do something in your own personal favor or putting people's livelihoods or welfare in danger, then um, you probably that's probably not the answer unless it's a it's a trick question where it says what they should not do, you know. But uh, letter eight says ensure that design documents and surveys are reviewed by a panel of licensed engineers prior to affixing a seal of approval. Um, likely, uh, you can do that. I don't think it's up for the engineer or the professional engineer to do, or it's not required to uh, do a panel review. So mm, it's iffy. Let's see if we can find a better one. Uh, express public opinions. I mean, I do that all the time in the office. I mean, like, the water cooler is out of water. Who's who's fixing that one? Uh, I had a very salty lunch. Get that water over here ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Um, under the direction of any employer or client, regardless of knowledge of subject matter. Now, that's probably what not to do at a stoplight. Uh, if I were to write an essay, uh, that's what I would not do at the stoplight. So let's, let's move on. Um, practice by performing services only in the areas of their competence and in accordance with the current standards of technical competence. Now that sounds like something a lawyer would say to me if I knew what I was talking about. Um, that actually sounds good. If you see the word competence two times in the sentence, more than likely that's what it is. Um, you can't say that word more than thrice, you know. Um, D, offer, give, or solicit services directly or indirectly in order to secure work or valuable or political considerations. Huh. Now, these are, you know, office affairs. You know, you don't just, uh, you can't just do what you want in the office and, you know, get get a raise or, you know, move up the, uh, the political office ladder just by doing the, the services for other people just to, in your personal gain. Uh, you should avoid that completely. So obviously D is not on the table. So given those circumstances, uh, C is the uh, C is the best option.